Antonio owns Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Things will get a little harder, but not a whole lot. I like you to still play it using downstroke picking. So all you need to play this riff is the third and fourth string. However, there's a little detail. What I want you to do in the beginning might be a little harder because you have to be precise. I want you to downstroke just those two strings. So you hold the pick and try to practice playing only those two strings. <laughs> like this and as a fresh beginner you probably will hit strings uh, you miss I, I miss sometimes everybody does but the idea is really to practice playing only the fourth and the third string okay so once you have mastered this then we're gonna go over the riff let's switch back to the left hand which is more important for this riff what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it into three parts to make it easier for you. So the first part, the first uh, uh, set of notes, it's exactly I showed you with the, the right hand. You're just going to play the fourth and the third string open like this. Then what are you going to do? You're going to uh, play the fourth and the third strings, but pressing the third fret on both. So to do that, you can use uh, any combination fingers you want. So I'm going to show you the way I do it, which I use my middle finger and my ring finger. So I press the third fret, the fourth string, and the third fret of the third string with my ring finger. You play this. Then you, you keep the same fingering, and now you move to the fifth fret. So you play the fourth and the third strings, but pressing the fifth fret on both. So then here's the, that's the first part. Okay, now let's move to the second part, which is exactly the same thing, but there's one little difference. So let's start first open, and then, then you play one, play one time the third fret, both strings, and then you play one time the sixth fret. So you have to move your hand all the way to the sixth fret, and then one time the fifth fret again. So the second part goes. And finally, the third part, which is incredibly similar to basic what you do. You go one time open strings, one time third fret, one time fifth fret, and then one time third fret again, and one time open string. So the third part. Okay, now let's put everything together. thing I do, Rich Blackmore doesn't really do this on the original record, original recording, but uh, it's actually kind of cool and it will help you for other things. It's called a slide. It basically, the slide, I'm going to put my hand so you can see, you still play the two strings, but then you move your left hand, you slide like any number of frets, in this case I'm going to just slide just from the sixth fret to the fifth fret. You see, I'm not. It's different than this. And it's a very common technique. Guitar players use it a lot. And you can try into this lick. I, I usually play like this. I, th I think it's cooler. But it's just a little variation. So, and then you can get your feet wet with this technique called the slide, which, which basically pl you play, play a note, play a note or set the notes, and then you slide your hand. And instead of what you have, I'm going to use this technique again. So I'm just showing for the first time. And lastly, since I'm assuming that you know absolutely nothing about guitar, so you might wonder, man, how do you get that cool guitar sound, you know? Okay, I'm pressing a little stone pedal here, the difference between. Between this and this. Well, this is called a distortion. So I'm uh, stepping my feet in the stomp pedal. So you go to the guitar store, there will be countless uh, discussions about all sorts of distortions. You can get this through the amplifier, you'll buy stomp pedals. 
so anyone, everybody's different. You're gonna have your own, eventually, your own set of distortion pedals and effects, and you're gonna find the one that you like the most. I, this distortion I'm using for this lick here, it's not really the best because I don't really play a whole lot of rock and roll these days. But um, if you go to the guitar store, you trust me, you will be overwhelmed with, with the amount of uh, different distortions you can buy and you plug your guitar into it and you get this cool sound. 